Hey, what is up guys? Colossnex here, and today I'm going to introduce to you a way of eating. It's called intuitive eating. So this is something that works for some people, doesn't work for everybody, certainly doesn't work for everybody because it definitely comes with its risks, but it's something that works really well for me, and it's something that is very easy to sustain for the rest of your life. So intuitive eating is basically just eating when you feel hungry. That's right. No diets, no calorie counting, no diet plans or programs. You can toss all the theories out the window, no keto. No paleo, no nothing, just trusting your instincts. Now this is where the risks come in because if you're craving a chocolate bar, it doesn't necessarily mean that your body wants a chocolate bar. So you have to become very self-aware. You have to understand the cravings you're feeling. You have to understand the impact that what you eat in your body has a reaction. For example, I eat a salty meal, something with lots of cheese in it, lots of salty meat. After the meal's done, I'm still craving salts. I'm gonna feel full and I'm gonna to wanna to go to a bag of chips just because I'm craving more salt. It does not mean that I need more salt. Okay, so that's understanding your cravings, which ones are realistic and which ones are not. And to eat intuitively, you really need to be critical of your body. Every single signal that comes to your body, you think about it and you think, okay, why am I craving this? Why do I want this? Is it because I haven't had it in a long time? Is it because I'm low on sugar? Is it because I need more salt? Am I dehydrated? You have to be very self-aware of the different feelings that go on in your body. You have to understand those feelings and you have to work around them. Another feeling that's kind of hard to sometimes settle with is feeling full, okay? You have to accept when you're full. If you're an intuitive eater, once you're full, you're done. That doesn't mean you're full and you eat some dessert because somehow in your mind you're like, yeah, I got room for dessert. No, once you're full, you understand you're full. That means no second helpings, that means nothing. You gotta trust your body. That's an intuitive eater. That being said, you should know what foods work for you. You should know what foods don't work for you. You should know what foods lead to more cravings. You should know which food kill cravings. Okay, so what's the best part of being an intuitive eater? You eat when you want. There are no rules. You just eat when you're hungry. It is awesome. When I'm hungry, I eat. When I'm hungry, I eat a snack. But I become very self-aware of my body, and I know when I get hungry over the course of the day. And I plan for it with snacks. It's not a diet. It's just... I'm stocking my cupboards with things that I know are good snacks. So when I get hungry, I have something healthy I can reach for. And that way I don't have to feel guilty. I don't have to feel like I'm force feeding myself healthy junk because I'm trying to be healthy. It's just being ready for the storm. When the storm comes, let it hit. You know, eat, let the eating begin. When I go to eat, I eat what I want because my life's under my control. My body's under control. My appetite, my feeling full, I got it under control. That's an intuitive eater. That's what works for me. It might work for you. With intuitive eating, you get to throw the rule books out the window, but it comes with a heavy responsibility. What? This video comes with a twist. Intuitive eating is actually just eating like your body had intended for you to eat, like it gave you cravings, it gave you a brain to figure things out, think things out, understand your emotions. It's just normal eating. It's eating the way that your body was built to eat. We become so separated from our body and what's normal. We just are consumed by cravings. So if you're an intuitive eater, you're on track to restoring your body to the way that it's supposed to function. Something that you can sustain for the rest of your life. You're on the road to a healthier you. Class next out.